If I'm six years old, and I'm going to have my hand. A robot hand. Uh, I'm the father of Ben, six-year-old Ben. Ben was born without his left arm. This is a project where people around the world share open source um, designs for 3D printed prosthetics. And I thought this would be ideal for my son. I found David, who is an expert at 3D printing. And it's uh, printed in a PET G. Um, and it's uh, from the designs uh, created by the naval community. Uh, so these designs are already tested by many per people, uh, persons, uh, so we know they work. Uh, we are using a PLA, a polylactic acid polymer, uh, because it's uh, biodegradable. So uh, because this is uh, based on many prototypes, so we have uh, quite some waste, but then if the plastic is biodegradable, then uh, we don't have so much impact on the environment. The idea was not just to make a, a hand or, or prosthetic arm for my son, but to also provide them for free to other children in Poland, especially in this part of Poland. I went to the Rotary Club, asked them for their help, and they very nicely uh, agreed to fund the project. My name is Ewa Okrucińska, I'm president of Rotary Club Sopot International. We have uh, members from all over the world in our club. Our club recent project is printing in the 3D method prosthetic hands for children. We pledge to provide prosthetic hands to the children as long as they grow. Once they stop growing, they could get the professionally made bionic hands. I hope we could provide the prosthetics to every child in the world who is in need of this kind of prosthetic hand. Rotary connects the world. Będę miał roborenkę i no i i będę jeździł na rowerze i koniec. But we hope that we're going to be able to help a lot of children in the future. This really does change their lives. This is a robot arm, which is exactly what uh, Ben asked for. We showed him pictures of different arms, and he asked for robot arms. We can make arms which look exactly like real arms, but we've discovered that children don't want them. They want ones that look like Spider-Man or Iron Man, or girls often want pink ones or fairy ones. We can make any kind that they want. Ben wants, really wanted a robot arm which looked like this. Uh, in fact, although they look like toys, so children love to have them, uh, they can be quite sophisticated. We can make different... Uh, ben has different... Um, connections at the end. He's got one which we'll be able to use for a bicycle uh, and also for children who have movable joints and unfortunately Ben doesn't. We can make arms which actually work, which close and they open. Uh, we can make quite sophisticated ones. Um, but usually the, the children want something that looks more like a toy which is fine. It does actually work. It works actually quite well. It's quite sophisticated and as I say this can come off and he will be able to ride a bicycle, he will be able to uh, do lots of things that he wouldn't be able to. But most of all, I think you're quite happy with it. <laughs>